Dating websites have brought many happy couples together, but now a Florida based nonprofit is taking the same technology behind those matchmaking services and then applying it to adoptions. The new program will connect children in need of a home with couples who want to grow their families. Fox 13's Crystal Clark shows us tonight how Family Match works. Matchmaking. It's a tradition as old as time. Now, online dating sites and apps lead the way in pairing two people together based on their wants and needs. But what if this same concept could go beyond the dating world? Insert Family Match a new program using similar algorithms to find perfect matches for couples to adopt foster children. A former eHarmony senior research scientist helped develop it. What we really had and what was impeding children from finding their forever families was a connection problem. The nonprofit Selfless Love Foundation believes Family Match will speed up the slow process of finding adoptive parents for children left waiting. That instability impacts their emotional well-being. And so if we can move faster um, and get these kids matched uh, more quickly, um, it's going to be a better outcome for them. Here's 100. Can I have my change? Family match wasn't available when Alexius Gilpin and her husband expanded their family by adopting four-year-old J.D., seven-year-old Xavier, and six-year-old Isaiah. My husband comes from a really big family, and I always grew up around all of my cousins, so we always wanted more kids. What are you making? Eggs. By opening their home to them, the siblings stayed together. This is the kind of adoptive family situation Family Match hopes to create in a faster, more efficient way. They get to see, just like you would on a, a dating website, they get to see which families from across the state are the highest level in compatibility. For safety, every person undergoes a background check, training, and adoption assessment before their parent profile is posted on the website. A social worker reviews their child preferences. Then parents are typically shown pictures of available children in their community who fit the bill. We have a, a team of adoption case managers and is their responsibility to find forever families for our children. At the end of the day, the decision is always left in the social worker's hands. Gilpin says deciding to expand her family was the best decision she's ever made. They're all really coming along very good. A forever family and looking to create more through digital matchmaking. Family Match has just launched online, and more than 200 families have already registered. They hope to begin the matchmaking process in June. Crystal Clark, Fox 13 News.